Thank you, What's thank you word? for your time, man. That we here, we here, man. We here celebrating this music. You know what I mean? Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, we got uh four years in the works we've been able to do this call. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, when we when we got stuck inside, it started to go heavy, and it's just something we kind of kept rolling. You know what I mean? That's nice, though. That's a good way to do it. That's a good way. How 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 we setting it off today? Look like it's a lot of people up in here. Yeah, yeah, we got this new record from you, but you know, I just had I had to bring it back to the roots on you because long time fans, G. You know what I'm saying? We still got we still got the big vinyl going down. You know what I mean? So, you know, <laughs> how's everything with you though, man? Like how's everything with you? Where you checking in from? Man, I'm checking in from Connecticut. I just left from New York City doing um some press. I got bless out too, chaos. I just left um doing some press because tomorrow on on We TV. Um, at nine o'clock, they're gonna um play the um the hustle six one seven Mike Bibb documentary on um television, and you know to me that's a big ordeal. That's ninety minutes of flavor, ninety minutes of funk, ninety minutes of a great story, and then um right after that they're gonna um premiere um the act like you know video with um BBD featuring the the the, the goat run from Run DMC and um. Uh, that's why we're here today, man. That's why we're here tonight to to get into that and and you know to um, to get the blessings of the you know of the crew to to get down with it for sure. How long has the uh, documentary been in the works? Doc been in the works for five years, right? Real talk. I started July two thousand eighteen, and um, it just took me a minute. You know, kept filming, editing, filming, editing. You know, I took on a role as a director. My man Rico, who's on here, he came in as the music supervisor with me to help me um put the music where it needs to be, create some music and stuff. So it's it's been five years in the making, man. But it it, it turned out I w I wouldn't have traded the time for nothing in the world. We learned so much in the process. Um, so you had uh, direct hands on uh kind of the directing and the and the executive producing of this? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I paid for it, and you know, <laughs> I sat up. I sat up in the editing room with my editor money, and um, when you see the transitions through the scenes, you know that's that's me, man. I I gave myself the title Mike, Michael Scorsese, man, and I ran yeah. with it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hell yeah, All we right. can dig it. We yeah, can dig it, yeah. man. You know that was my shit, and, and, and plus, I've been, you know. I've been doing this stuff since we've been doing videos, man. You know, it's kind of the same thing. You go from three minutes to an hour 90, you just have conversation. And you just got to know when to clip it. Some people let things play too long. Some people don't know how to get out. And some people show the same shit in a circle. You're like, okay, you already said that. So it's 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 meticulous, but it's, it's what you call perfect editing, perfect timing, and learning from the greats. Indeed, uh, I like to call it meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, yes, give us, yes. Give us what, give us what we need. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so. <laughs> yes, for sure. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, this is an honor for me, man. Like I said, uh, you talk about how long you've been in this thing. I mean, forty plus years in the game, correct? Man, you know I wore my shirt for this call, money. This indeed, forty right indeed. here, man. That's all like, right like here I said, the man. real deal, money. This is this, this this is uh this is real, right? For real, for real. Okay. Indeed, indeed. Okay. that's what I'm saying. You know, this cool it now. go back heavy. I got <laughs> I got hella I got hella forty five still in the crib, you know what I mean? The whole nine. Yes, so, sir. You know what I yes, mean? Sir. Uh, you guys was pioneers yourself, you know, the whole nine. So um this is just amazing, man. You know what I mean? And and um you just talk about the different things you've had your hands on throughout your career. And I definitely don't wanna, you know, die back too fast because we wanna keep emphasis on this song and emphasis on uh, you know, the uh the documentary coming out. Um, we TV. Uh, what time did you say that's the de uh, debut tomorrow? Not, not nine o'clock East Coast time. Nine, 9 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Word. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we got people definitely want to ask some questions. The whole nine G. Um. You want to run? You want to run this record first before we uh before we get into that? Yeah. And and, and Paul Rico, uh, Rico, come on mute, man. Say something to the people. You a DJ too, so you in your community. Talk your one two one two DJ stuff. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Rico Anderson. Uh, some may know me as DJ Rico Anderson, but uh, I'm, I'm one of the producers on the record, um, Mike's partner, and putting together the soundtrack, and uh, also uh, working on the score for uh, The Hustle of 617 
Mike Biff. So I know y'all are going to enjoy the new single. The soundtrack is crazy that we, we, we've been working on. So we will be coming back seeing y'all a few more times after this. So yeah. let's just let's just kick it off with, you know, with, where we starting off at right now. Um, you know, it's a classic, classic music, classic artists. And we wanted to, de de to deliver it the classic way, you know what I mean, by going to the DJs. You know, we the original tastemakers. I'm a DJ myself. Um, so, you know, I just was telling Mike, yo, we need to make sure that we go that route and, and let it come from organically, you know, where hip hop started from was with the DJ. So let's 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 get it going. All right, well, with that being said, man, let's run this record. Act like you know, going down. We put on both of my pies, man. Turn that yeah, joint yeah, out, man. Have to. You're going to have to. And yeah. I, I got to tell yeah, you. Don't play before, it low. The, the, the production on this shit was crazy. So big salute. You know what I mean? So Thank uh, you, bro. check this out, y'all. Michael Bivens, act like you know with the legends on this thing. In the bar, act like you know, we came to party, get on the floor, girl it's the weekend, go ahead and move your body like you done done this before, put your new dress on, get fly, say hello girl, cause it's a party, and if you're trying to do your thing, oh baby girl get naughty, don't hurt nobody, yeah, don't hurt nobody, yeah. Yeah. already gave you the keys to the game, all the fame and you know the name, Red run, see a man, been getting millions, ain't nothing changed with the flow's the same. Wrist on frozen, flow so chosen, school so old, but the OG coasting, New York toasting, LA slosing, G's in the D and the ball is in Boston, Hollis to Nostrin, parties I host them, ball to a fall so you know it's gon' coast them, run gon' post them, rip them up, toast them, out to the can cause they rubbish and I roast them, flow like the ocean, down in the coasting, drying rappers out to the knee, need lotion, I got the potion to keep you engrossed and dance to my beat, keep your feet in the motion. motion. Ho, ho, ho! Bell the ball, act like you know We came to party, get on the floor Girl, it's the weekend, go ahead and move your body Like you done done this before Put your new dress on, get fly Say hello, girl, cause it's a party And if you're trying to do your thing Oh, baby, girl, get naughty Don't hurt nobody, yeah Wanna have a rendezvous with Ron DeVoe Shotgun in the coupe while I drive you roll New addition to my rotation While I'm twisting, put your whole face in Whoa, pop bottles till there ain't nothing left She like, damn, is that BBD or BMF? Teach you how to play the game, not complain to the ref So, stay in your lane, I stay on my step I could've hit a D1 buzzer from the PJs Instead of running tour buses up the freeway Sold out tours, you know that boy? With all that sauce, how much that cost? enough Rim spinning, I've been winning the money printing. Ben Chagas, hot body, my honey's in it. I don't think I'm raw strict, I think I might bib. BBD's the shit, tight grip. Combination of run, fly drip. Lead singer of the click when the lights hit. Of the ball, act like you know. We came to party, get on the floor. Girl, it's the weekend. Go ahead and move your body like you done done this before. Put your new dress on, get fly, say hello, girl, cause it's a party. And if you're trying to do your thing, oh baby, girl, get naughty. Don't hurt nobody, yeah, don't hurt nobody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Round of applause around the way. It's real music. It's real music. Real music. Real music, man. One time, man. Congrats. Congrats. Um, just on, a, on an illustrious career, Mike, man. Super dope. Super dope. You're still in this thing heavy and putting out this good quality shit right here, man. Shouts out to you too, Rico, man. Um, Thank you, my brother. Indeed, an honor to have y'all on. Of course, we got, a, you know, if you've seen the chat, comments crazy, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, we definitely got people. We I definitely like, got people. I like the fact when someone said the switch up was um was dope because see the thing is we didn't um we knew taking that joint whatever what it means when you hear it the the original way, but we knew in order to freak it we had to freak it another way and add a little switch up in there to 
to keep it fresh in 2023, man. So it, um, it feels good. But someone had asked who was that. I was saying, and that was Rev Run Up Top, man. That's the OG. And I think his 16 is um, it's official. I tell him every day, man, you still got it. You know, he live wire in concert, man. And it's just the honor that they're celebrating their 40th. We're selling our 40th. And we was able to just to finally do something together since we toured with each other since 1983. So um, this was the first car we played the um song on too, man. So this, you know, this Digi movement is um, it like it, it like cracked the cherry today. Right up. Yeah, man, we've had a couple firsts today, man. We had our first live performance. You know what I'm saying on the, on the spot today. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, somebody, somebody went. Somebody performed live. Yeah, they, we yeah, got a little live. Yo, we got a little live yo, performance today yo, for the first time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yo, 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 Ray, hit that person that said Mike Smith. Yes, yeah, he, he right there. Live. Started. Shit, don't start it right here. Okay, where is he? Yes. Where you at? Started. You missing out, G? Where you at? Where you at? I'm sorry, I missed the performance, money. But listen, that's the dopest shit. Don't run from your talent. Go live and let everybody know how you get. Oh, I see with the hand up. Okay, yeah, go live, man. And hey, man, kudos. Sorry I missed it, man. I'll catch it on the next one. Dope. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, quantum, quantum, Chinese, bro. Yeah, man, I had a few things before <laughs> before they man, played put your, that. Put your, put your camera me... on, dog. Put, put your camera on. Uh, you know, you know, I'm, 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 I'm at work and shit like that, man. It, it's all good. But, but dig this, man. Um, just on the song, since because I was gonna say something else, but outside of the song, when I heard the Apache, I'm like, all right, because we it's been used so much, and I'm glad that that uh, that that Biv just said that like that switch up was them freaking it because that shit really did make the whole song, man. So big up to y'all on that. Um, I also wanted to say, man, oddly enough, is as hip hop as I am, the first live show that I ever went to was my uncle took me to a concert in 1991 at the summit here in Houston. And it was Bell Biv mm. DeVoe and Keith Sweat, man. That was actually my first live show. <laughs> so I, want, I wanted to get that out of the way, man. So big up to you for that. But I did want to ask this too, in terms of the documentary. Um, and I don't know if you said it on Breakfast Club or not, but I was kind of wondering, cause I saw that, that interview, if the, uh, the show, the 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 dramatic miniseries did that kind of uh, you know motivates you to do the documentary or not? Nah, and, and that tour you talking about too, bro. That was the triple threat tour with Johnny Gill. That was a massive tour too. Oh, it was. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. The triple threat. Um, honestly, it, it wasn't the new edition story. It was the the Black Godfather story. When mm-hmm. when I saw that okay. when I saw that on Netflix, right. I was in my feelings. I watched it like on a Saturday night. I'll never forget it. I, I had a nice big ass bottle of champagne. I'm like, let me see what Clarence talking about. He always, you know, in his feelings and talking that good stuff. And I noticed I was seeing everybody and people that ain't even working our building from Motown. And I'm like, damn, how how they gonna do a doc on Clarence when Clarence is the godfather to Joe Busby. Joe yeah. Busby is my godfather. So I was the young one that was with those two at all times, right? And I wanted to say something, you know, because he did so much and impacted me so much and I didn't make it in there, man. And, and, and it messed with me mentally. So it made me pick up a camera July 2018 because I thought that was so dope. And I wanted to mirror my joint after his, honestly. I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I can't wait to see it um, because I didn't just going over that that BC interview. I didn't realize you were behind the scenes behind certain things. Like I knew about certain groups, but I didn't know you was behind the scenes like that. And and that was that and for as long as I've known about you guys, that was eye opening. So again, I look forward to seeing the documentary, man. But big up for you being Thank on the you. call today. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And, and get back at me after you see it because your opinion, I would want to hear it, man. Make sure they shoot that to me. You know, whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent. You know, all all I could do was build from it when I do something else. No doubt. Indeed, indeed. Uh, definitely want to shout out the legendary Chuck. Chill out. Um, were you able to get your mic fixed, Chuck? Just oh, want to get man. your thoughts. There come we go. On. There we go. There you come know. On. Get your I, thoughts on the record. I know you. You know me. Come, you already know what it up. Come on, man. You kept cutting me off, bro. No, that we we, we was getting like mad background noise. Like it was weird. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> that, that's hip hop, my nigga. 
Fuck off. <laughs> we invaded the space. We invaded the space. All right. Oh, son. All right. Look, man. My, oh, shit. Mike got a hit, man. So it's all good. You know what I mean? Yes. Mike, Mike got a hit, OG. man. Mike got a hit. And me and Mike go back 40 some odd years. So we good. So I got him. Nice. Nice. OG. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Queens well, in the building. Indeed. So, Thank you for joining so, the call today, bro. So no whatever we got to do to help Mike and the boys, we're going to do it. Nice. Let me let me ask, let me ask you, Mike, before we uh, kind of dive into other questions. Um, I don't want to say fear, but any reservations, like as far as that record goes, like being able to reach the younger generation. No, because you you got to understand, right? Uh, um, a rhythm don't have no age on it, and my kids dance, and 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 they just want to dance, man. When it when it when when the lyrics get complicated, you know, then it becomes something totally different. But Bell Biv Devo, act like you know, we came to party, get on the floor. Like the rhythm in the chorus is so catchy. One or two times with the shorties, they they gonna lock into something, man. So there's no fear. And when you see the video, the good thing about the video is the video was moving so smooth and so fly. You, they ain't gonna put an age on us, man. We 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 not gonna get that. They just gonna be like, oh, look at them. They getting busy because everybody's still looking good and and spitting and it's clarity. It's it, it's a different movement, man. So we we not actually targeting to a twelve year old or a fourteen year old. We targeting to who comes to our show, and then hopefully with this record, you know, they'll be able to get some more people to come to the show. But money, we are gonna stay so much in our lane. We we trying to party with our age group, you know what I mean? Because we dance. My my daughters and them don't dance. Money when they out there party, Mike. Yeah. The boys be over here, the girls be over it's here. Wild. When we together, when we together, we we right behind her. You know what I'm saying? We we trying to follow her around the dance floor. So I think we're gonna be all right, man. I do. I I got a good feeling about this one, and I and I think anytime you can have the rev on your record, man, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Still still spit. Still spit. Uh, legend, legend, chime in. Yo, this is a legend based out of Columbus, Ohio. Definitely want to give you your flyers, Mike, just for the amount of years y'all stayed together and just fought through so many differences and went through so many trials and tribulations together and individually. Um, of course, you know, we all didn't watch the movie several times. My mom still has it saved to her TV. And so now I could tell her, hey, Mike, that's a documentary. Put that on and delete the other one. But, um, you know, she's, <laughs> in, of course, preached about you know y'all since i was a little kid and say this is real music this is real dance this is a real group no other group's not going to do what they've done which is true and um, i'm happy that you're doing a documentary i remember watching your um interview on um on uh, with matt hoffa and you know you was really dropping some jewels and some some gems over there when you was just talking about how the business is done and you do the business right even with boys to men like you make sure that their check was coming from the same person you was getting your check from Instead of it coming to where like you right, know, they right. come back coming later and say, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like oh he screwed mm -hmm. us over, he got more money. He's like, nah, your check coming from the same people I'm getting my check from. So mm -hmm. definitely honor you with that. Um, hopefully I would love to see outside of your documentary um a movie as far as in your journey, because I know Bobby had his after the new edition story, but your story is dope too. And it goes from you to the group. And I will I would have loved to see more like with Bell Biv DeVoe from the movie and just seeing the story with y'all and then even going into when you went on your journey as a music mogul and being in the music business and how you cipher through that. Starting off not knowing, but you like, look, I'll, I'll do this for y'all. You seen the talent, then you went with boys to boys to men, and then you know what they became, and then just going into your journey as a now and working with Puff and everybody else. So um, definitely salute you, man. Definitely um, thank you for coming on to the show. Um, you know, we definitely here to support you on, and, you know, on your journey, on these next, you know what I'm saying, years is, you know, popping up in the music business and making history happen. And that's dope, man. Kind words, too. And um, I feel the same way, bro. You know, like even doing the doc, I ain't know how people was going to take that because I was stepping out. I've always been in the group. And I've always been helping the group from behind the scenes. So it was it was a little uncomfortable to step from the back to come all the way up to the front. But 
I'm walking in it now, man. Ain't no turning back. And, and honestly, I was just telling someone earlier, you know, who would have ever thought I would have my own album? You know what I mean? Like, that's the furthest right. shit from my mind, money. But I, I, I feel like I got an album that's just, just as good as a Curtis Mayfield movie soundtrack. And that was my goal, to, to make something culturally moving like Curtis and sonically feeling like Dre. That's it. Yeah. I'm just sitting, I'm sitting between those two. And that was me and Rico's thing, man. So hopefully when it's all said and done, they can say that the, the basketball player who wanted to be in the NBA, man, gave us an official album 40 years later and, and the shit sounds good. That would that would be the biggest statement. I, I would hold on to that for dear if that when that happens. For real, for real. Pound for pound, 14 joints, and I play my shit up against anybody's album. I wouldn't run from nobody. Cause we got a little bit of everything on there, especially when it comes to the arm, the R and B stuff. Like I'm, I'm coming back to crown that. I got to do that. That's my home. So yeah. I'm, I got to. Yeah. I'm coming for that for yeah, sure. You, yeah, you know R and B is real nervous out here, Mike. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm real I'm, nervous. I'm in, the, I'm in the back pocket of something from Blue Magic, man. Watch me. Yeah, You're gonna the, be like, okay, the, the I, I, I feel you. The I'm nerve. on my pretty Tony, man. I'm coming, see. Yeah, you I'm know coming. how to, you know how to make an R&B record, man. This shit I be yeah. getting in my in my email, I be like, "Come on, money, this ain't an R&B record. What is this?" Yeah, hey, we, we well, should you know. go though too, man. Because we always talk about samples on this call and people being lazy with it. We appreciate you for mm -hmm. not being lazy with that sample. You did your thing on that, man. Definitely want to salute you as a DJ and as a producer, man, and give you your flyers too, man. You did your thing on that. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. all Glad y'all uh, yeah. like the record, you know, and do your thing with it. Cut the uh, check. You know, you... Cut go the ahead, check, but cut the check, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so it's so weird, even in comparison to like uh, you know, film editing and whatever, whatever. Like the the song keeps you engaged because you kept flipping the beat so damn much in there. You know what I mean? Like you you you're not stale. It's not stale with one bit throughout the entire song. You know what I mean? So big ups. You big know what have been the real? You know what have been the real question? is when you hear it, right? And anyone can answer this. Does it feel like the people whose title is of the song or were you just listening to it moving through the song? Did you realize like, okay, that's mine, that's BBD. Like, or did it just move you as this? I see her shaking, right? That's that's what I was curious about. Go ahead, Jersey. I was just curious about that because this is why we are on the call. We want to hear the truth. Like if we would have never said, yo, that's such and such and such and such, what would y'all have really had said? Oh, he said it right I, there. I didn't right, realize. So I, all right, okay. so I might be jumping. I might be jumping out of pocket, but I'm gonna keep it real though, because I, I got to get ready for this gig real quick. First and foremost, I want to say thank you. Um, I want to say thank uh, thank you to Rico because this is what DJs need. This is we need all of this, like we like all this. So for another DJ to make all this happen, we appreciate it. You're advancing the culture. You're making it a lot better for us as DJs. You know what I mean? To not only honor the music, but also keep the music alive. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I first I want to give you a pause nice. for that. All right. Next, I just want to say I learned the definition of poison just recently. All right. My boy <laughs> 88 can tell me. I learned the definition of poison about two months ago. I learned the exact definition. Um, okay. And then and then moving 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 into this record, right? I could tell everybody. Like when it, when it first switch, I was like, okay, wait, 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 time out. I hear Rev Run. Okay, second switch. Okay, I hear some more. Like you know what I mean? Like I can hear. Um, I may be out of order with it, but I can hear when the switch comes, and then and then the and then the um you know the legend is on it. So for for me, I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely gonna run the record. Um, I'm running the record. I I ain't gonna run it tomorrow because tomorrow I gotta be in the strip club, but. I'm, I'm a, but I'm a, but I have a rooftop party. I do. It's a it's a rooftop party. And last last week we had them dancing to Apache. So I know that 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 the hearing that record, especially what the beginning, what the what hearing what that a, switch is gonna is gonna what a what a what a, what a patch you had the original one. Yeah, the original. You, you Come on, I might look young. Listen, hold up, hold up, young. hold up, son, hold up, son. Oh, oh, here we go. Hold up, son. What's the original Apache? Tell me right now. Man, it's in my crates. I, I got to crack my laptop open for that. Come on, man. <laughs> you said you know, so I want to hear you tell me. 
right. hey, 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 man, I got limited time up here. Let me, let me get back. All right, go ahead, go ahead, bro. All right, but, 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 yeah, but, yeah, but, but to be, but to be transparent, though, in, in easy, a real life Chuck, setting. Be easy, Chuck. Be easy. Yeah, I, yo, I'm just, <laughs> what? You see, you hear him? He, I'm, I'm, he just try- ask, I'm just asking you the question because. Chuck, you know, Chuck, be easy, be easy, be easy, I'm, man. I'm just asking you the question, money, because. My- you pick know, up ball, his, Mike, pick up the ball, Mike. His, <laughs> his, his Apache is a Sugar Hill gang, and that ain't Apache. Apache right. is a, is an incredible, incredible bongo, bongo man. rock band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So well, yeah, well, he he Pay probably, he probably he, just got a lesson. Was, Pay that, attention, you just got a lesson. Yeah, was, but he yeah, probably was, he probably was, was doing the you know jump on it, jump on yeah, it. Like he's yeah. probably there. But it's you know, all good. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, because that's probably that's probably what. What they doing at the party? Absolutely. It's all good. I'm just asking a question. You know, that's all nah, that, nah, yeah. Chuck, Chuck, that's yeah. a teachable moment right there. Because, <laughs> that, and that's passing, Absolutely. That's passing Absolutely. the knowledge from one that, generation to the other. I'm not for his generation, I, they... Chuck, I appreciate you. I appreciate for your, you because that... Yeah, because yeah. like for for because for me, I'm I'm in my I'm in my late thirties, right? right? I'm pretty sure woo, everybody is different ages, woo. whatever. Woo! See, look, see, I knew he, I knew I was gonna get that reaction. I knew I was gonna get that. It's all good. It's right. all good. But, 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 but things though, there's a lot of there's a lot of DJs in the DMV area, which is the DC area, that not only look up to me, but also you know, kind of like you know, our peers with me, like eighty eight. He's he, he's one of my peers with me. We we DJ together. And we we around the same age for real. How, and how's so so, how's so we're the, having that new teaching moment. We need that. How's the go go scene still going on down there? Man, listen, go go. If you bring, it's funny because if you bring an artist here, it's a hit or a miss. You bring a go go band, you're gonna hit every time. Yeah. The go the go go scene is still. I mean, eighty eight. What do you think of the go go scene, bro? Because he 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 DJs with me. Um, man, the go-go scene is just very, I mean, because honestly, uh, you have the newer go-go, and then you have, like, the Chuck Brown eras, and the, you and said, the, you know, the you, said you said new go-go. What's the new go-go? I mean, new go-go is, like, Sounds a speech. bunch of, like, descendants you know. of, like, the older bands, and they kids, Chuck they Brown, all link up, Chuck they doing Brown, their own thing. No, nah, they got, Brown, Chuck Brown, they got, you, no, nah, yeah. Chuck, Chuck, they got yeah. that, but then they also got. The other, it's a whole nother beat that they got. It's kind of, kind of like how the drill music and, and oh, it, it really? has a different beat. It's a like, crank really? sound. It's a crank sound. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a little beat. bit different. You got different yeah, it's, bands it's like bounce CCB, beat. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. B. See, now it's I a just, bunch, yeah, just now, like you got the Lils, like now, you got the Lils, now, they got now, all the ABC bands. Now, now I just learned something. Okay, all right. Now, <laughs> now look, now look, now look. Chuck, I will say this. If you, if you, if you are like a go-go person, um, research my boy Nucci. He does the um on the front porch freestyles. He had uh CCB pieces of me like a like performance off off the rip. I mean Snoop wanted to sign on the death row. That's how big he is. Mm-hmm. His name is Nucci Music. He, he's he's he he's lit out here. Like he's one he's one of the most humble but also real like rappers that like make rap music like you know rhythm you know rhythm and poetry music. Not mm-hmm. one- it, and guess what? Why you said that? I, the reason why I'm a segue is he even even Snoop is on this soundtrack, Ooh. and um, that's Ooh. one of the and that's that's one of the um the records we're gonna come back with you at the top of the year. But also too in, in the crate though, I, I got a brand new Slick Rick record that's different than anything he's put out in the last two years. So there's a um there's a lot of special moments on the soundtrack. So when you said the Snoop. I just smile because um the, the, the record with Snoop is real is is real ill and Chuck. You came you to the play Bronx. Children's, yeah, you you came, could, you, you came to the Bronx uh, and recorded that. No, no, no. What it is, he sent it to us. You oh, know, okay. he sent it to us, and then okay. me and Rick, um, we freaked it up. But um, okay. Slick came through, man. You know, it's, it ain't easy getting Rick to do a record. You know what I mean? And um, that you could play Children's, yeah, you could play Children's well, Story well, and play this. And Mike, say okay, this shit is still level. Mike, Mike, who gonna say no to you, man? Come on, bro. Who gonna say? Well, no? you know, hey, hey, listen, listen. Who gonna I, say I, no to you, man? I, I had a few of my friends not get back ain't, to me, ain't, but I ain't, ain't gonna bring them to the car. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna tell you no, man. He was always yeah. a good dude, man. Nobody yeah, not gonna tell yeah. you no. A couple of them don't see, you know, and, and, and they apologized after, but I accepted it. It was all good, but I, but I know the. I know that the lineup of, of stars that we got on here, you know, is um, 
we 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 not gonna lead this album with just showing their names. We are gonna lead this album by letting you hear their joints, cause okay. cause everybody always want to post who's on the album, but at the end of the day, we don't even mess with that album. Thirty days later, we don't moved on. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm 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 gonna take my time and and get familiar with this this crew right here between now uh-huh. and February. So that's uh-huh. why we're gonna. We're going to be here a few times. We're uh, coming back a few times. But we, uh, we need to get this one off, though. This this, this got to be the the first brick. This this act like you know. So I'm I'm waiting to see the energy. You shooting the video? The video will come out tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, it's on wow. TV. Yeah. yeah. You can put your foot up at 9.30, man, 10 o'clock, man, and watch that right in your crib. Okay. Turn your TV right. as loud as your speakers can take it, man. Enjoy yeah. it. That's gonna be coming at you. Yeah, that's why mm-hmm. I'm, that's that's why I'm deaf now playing shit so loud. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Uh, I want to get one here from some of these ladies. Uh, Queen B, Queen B, checking in from Connecticut as well. Hello, oh, wow. hello. What's up? Hi. What's up? What part of the CTU in? What's up? Huh? You got an echo? No, no. no. I'm, I'm out of heart for Connecticut. Oh, you down there? That's what's up. I'm I'm up here by the amphitheater. I'm by the port. All right, yeah. all right. Well, I mm-hmm. want to salute you for all of all of what you've done and what you're going to do in the future. Um, I had family out in Roxbury, so it felt like I grew up with you. But they say nice. new addition right down the street. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's love. Yes, yes the Lucas yes. is out of Roxbury, but I just want to say I'm excited about your project. Um. You're very professional. You're very loved and re- well received here out of Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut. And just um, we support you. I'm a Thank DJ. You. We support you. You're gonna be spinning it. Thank, Thank you. I'm here for any drops too. You only ride up the highway. All I right. go. I go past you to go home when I head home. So let's do it. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Since, since you put that energy out there, Mike, uh, what would be the best way to uh, get drops? You got somebody uh, put the request um, into or whatever, you, whatever. Yeah, just CLDL, whatever one, whatever makes it easier. Okay. You know, we okay. hey, we Ray, available, I, I, bro. I'll, I'll get it. I'll make sure between me and CL, we'll get it over to you to make okay. sure. Yeah. What you yeah. can do, Ray, is get with me and CL and just give me the drops. And what I'll do is I'll um give me the list and stuff, and I'll get it and I'll get them over to Mike. Yeah, this For is sure. this is gonna be nice, man. We. We working, baby. We, you know what I mean. We rocking this shit like it's a new, new record, man. New artist with a new song, man. We, we don't look in the mirror, man. We, we, we look ahead, man. We, we trying to win, bro. For real. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah. Miss Jeannie, sweetness, Miss Jeannie, the bald and the beautiful. Hey, oh, let me make sure I cut the light on so you can see the shine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, big up yourself, Mike. Um, Jeannie Sweetness representing for the Caribbean, so I had to write things down because uh, I forget. I where, forget. Where you um, in Trinidad? Where you in Trinidad? Trinidad. Where you in Jamaica? Where you at? Where you yes, at? Sir. I am in Queens, New York. Oh, Queens. Oh, okay. oh. Well, I thought but you were I in the a, state. Okay. Uh-huh. I am a Caribbean executive. Okay. Is what right. I do nice. in this industry. Rewind. So, <laughs> Chuck, I swear to God, if you cut me off one more time, I ain't got that much energy. Rewind. <laughs> we say pull I up, we don't it. say rewind. Let me try too. to get through this before Mr. Chuck Chill Out finish his comedic stand-up routine. He oh, got here, here we go. Here we go. Um, yes, yeah, so where is our peace? Where's our fusion? I don't hear nothing Caribbean or anything. We need some of that in there, Mr. Biff. That that sounds like a remix you could do. I'll just let you do that because then that way it's whatever you want it to be. We could still miss. No, you know, you could come up you could come up short and be like, eh, that ain't it. So if it's something that you feel, <laughs> then you know, take that and um put your spin and spin on it and, and, and take us somewhere, which take- which is Expands the record. It makes it even it's go in a whole nother direction. Take take that old take that old school reggae joint diseases. That's you right. I mean? yeah, that'll work with that. That'll work with that. Yeah. Yeah. So we open to that. Absolutely. That'll be that'll be fly. Cause when we on the gram, to be honest with you, a, a lot of the the reposts is them kids. 
them kids be getting busy and they be from different parts of different places and they put a whole new like a whole new spin on the dancing. So okay. it'd be nice to, to feel the feel the lyrics up against a different swing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Absolutely. definitely open to that. Yeah. So if you hear the beat, mm -hmm. then you know, let us let us follow the beat, you know, and Rico could probably drop in the a cappella. And that mm -hmm. way you can see if we're on the right page. So, and then I'm going to, because like I said, to write things down, because I forget. First of all, now, we're a little too old to be like, you made a nostalgic song. You and Rico made a nostalgic song sound so fresh and so new. But my knees and my back just will not allow me <laughs> to do what this record is telling me to do. I just don't have the energy for it. I don't have the energy what, for it, but I good. Love <laughs> but you what know you the, the the good the good thing is the good thing is you don't got the time to because we ain't telling you the time to on this one. So yeah, you yeah. can do what you was doing. You could just head nod that one and, and you know move your fingers yeah. a little bit. That's it. Yeah. You good. Yo, good. Like, like I said, yeah. act like you know. So you know your limitations. <laughs> <laughs> you know, party right. accordingly. <laughs> Right, and I and I did want to big See up what you doing, Rico. See what you doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to big up Rico because I've always felt that DJs um are natural producers because you're in the music and you hear things that others may not hear because you have to spin so many records and so many genres and stuff. And I think that you definitely um, which you know, Mike has has been a producer for for so long. And when I think of of BBV, uh, sorry, BBD, I'm not not bacteria vaginosis, but when I think of, you know, all that he's done as it relates to production and then, you know, no disrespect, but thinking of RZA and Wu-Tang, that's, that's what I see. You know, you've got, you're part of the group, but you're also part of the sauce of the group and, you know, putting things together and taking them in the next direction. So I've always made that comparison, but I think that, um, Rico, I think you're the one who added just that extra flavor that was neat needed because DJs they just hear things differently you know and so I think that's how come as they say with the switching and stuff how it went from this to you know here there and everywhere else so I wanted to make sure that I bid you up for that because I thoroughly enjoyed how it went in and out and that, you know that was awesome and no I did not know it was Reverend I didn't know it was like trying to catch up who's the voice for that so I appreciate it and I hope that the young people that when they hear it then they like you know it gives them an appreciation for where the group has come from and that they go and find the catalog and you know bring some of that music forward as well I think but I'm just I'm waiting on the um Snoop and the Slick Rick I want to hear those two and mm -hmm. that's all that's all my energy you you yes. so big up everybody and yeah we're gonna nice. get on that um Caribbean flavor though all right that's so, done thank you Mike, are you helping out at all with uh, Slick Rick's album, or was this just a one-off with you two on uh, on this soundtrack? No, nah, I just got this record from, and I got it a couple of years ago. I done had it for a minute. You know, that's why I didn't see him do the thing with the Nas sample, and he put out a few records. So, you know, I just been sitting. You know, then he did the 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 big party at the Grammys a year ago. Got you know awarded and stuff. So, you know, we just sitting. No, nah, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm just happy I got this one. You know, and it sits on the album. You know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I always like Rick, you know, been I'm around really, him forever. Really. Man. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a cool cat. Hands down. Mm -hmm. hey. hey, CL, is you there? Is you there, G? Oh, like yeah, yeah, I'm here. What up? What up? Well, there you go. Let's see the CEO bag. You know what I mean? Yeah, listen, I ain't never wearing a suit on this call ever again. Shout out to, uh, oh, man, it's cool to wear the Steve Harvey suit. <laughs> nah, you funny, man. Y'all funny. Uh, no, shout out to Mike, man. Um, Yo, first jacket, of all, I always say it. Yo, that jacket looks mad tight, son. <laughs> he's a part of the lineage. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got, you got, you know, you know, Uncle Chuck on here. You know, he's gonna go in on everybody. Yeah, we're we'll going Uncle on Chuck you. on here. But um, <laughs> so shout out to Mike, man. Like I said, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. But anyway, um, no, with Mike, uh, first of all, the record is undeniable. You can't be a DJ and not play it. It's just like, you know what I mean? Who's not going to play it? So that's number yeah, one. Word, word. Um, number two, he comes from the lineage of the other cats that really know how to make flavor records. And, and, and right. it's just in the in the source, man. Sh shout out to, to, I said, you know, Andre, you know, shout out to Russell, shout out to, 
Mike, shout out to Diddy. You know, that's the, there's certain people they just know and they just got it, and that, and it's 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 just it's just in the blood. So you know, I, I'm just happy that you came on the call and um and just did your thing, and, and I feel like this is just naturally gonna grow. Sometimes the records, these type of records, they just they they just stay around forever. So you got another club classic, man. So congratulations. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I see you suited and booted, man. Have a good time. Uh, no doubt. I'm at the, the NABOB conference, which is the uh, National Association of Black Home Broadcasting. And uh, it's a dope room to be in. You know, we all making the power moves. And, uh, you know, that's how we got to do it. We all got to network and, and do our thing. I'm on the poly, so you already know. Nice. There you go. Head rush. Head rush. Chime in. Yo, yo, yo. Peace. What's going on, Mike? Mr. What up, baby? Chilling, 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 man. Uh, salute to you, Kane, for everything you've uh, helped pave the way for through uh, us growing up, you know, just overall music, overall in life. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much live soundtrack to your music. And, uh, you know, just proud to be in the presence of, uh, uh, with you and Rico and uh, Mr. Lawrence as well. Uh, I actually had the chance to watch your documentary already. And nice. uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, I, I give it four out of five. And the nice. reason why is because I wanted more. <laughs> okay. I, mm. I, I wanted more from you because um, the fact that you have a story before New Edition was amazing. You know, um, Growing up in, in in the 80s and 90s, we watched you all play basketball on MTV, you know, when they came with the rock and jock basketball game. But we didn't know that New Edition actually had a different wave before that. You know, spoil it. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> it's it's amazing to find this information out. And I'm like, dang, they was really out there doing it like that. Okay. Yeah. Marketing on a whole nother level that people fail to realize will probably still work in the music game right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, because you, you yeah. tapping into something that everybody loves and that's sports and getting together and having fun. Yeah. And the fact, the, the fact that you've been 40 years into the game, you've seen the lows and the highs of the industry and you still remember Orchard Park. Facts. Mm-hmm. And that's that's and that's what we we see a lot of artists. They always oh I can always go back home. Yeah, but you're going back home for the wrong reasons. So you get the negative energy. Mm. But when we see you go back home, you see the whole neighborhood come out. The whole city comes out, and they hanging out with you. They want to get on the court. They like hearing yep. the shout outs from you. We you know we see that interaction. So we want to make sure that you know that 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 doesn't go un you know unnoticed amongst Fast. the hoopla that we got going on in the industry now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, salute to you on that. Uh, maybe I missed it, but how did you and Rico get together? How did this happen? Go ahead, uh, Rico. You, yeah, you tell him your story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's funny, right? I call it, it's my Mr. Telephone Man story. Okay. <laughs> what happened is, I was hanging out one night with some other people that was doing music in, in the DC area. I'm from DC. We ended up at a IHOP restaurant like late at night. And we sitting in there eating. And then next thing you know, Mike comes through the door with, you know, him and the security and, 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 and uh, one of his other uh, assistants. And it was funny because he had been on BET a few days earlier doing an interview with Donnie Simpson. And he was telling, yeah, he was announcing his company. He was talking about ABC. He was talking about Boys to Men. He was talking about this company that he had. And he had said, well, you know, I'm looking for, you know, producers. I'm looking for people, writers, this, 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 that, and the other. He even gave an address, you know, to send a tape and this, this, that, and the other, right? I didn't even see that. My uncle saw it. He called me and told me about it. So now let's fast forward. I'm at the AHA. Mm -hmm. I see Mike come in. I got a friend that I went to school with that was just like a super new edition fan. I go mm -hmm. to the phone 
to hear them like, hey, yo, the, the dude is up here, you know, come through. <laughs> you know, like, he here. You want me to get an autograph for you? He never answered the phone. It was late. So when I turned <laughs> around, Mike is right behind me. Uh, waiting to use the phone. That's why I said Mr. Telephone, man. So it's like, like, like yo, you going to be long? I'm like, nah. So I hang the phone up, and then right as I'm walking, I say, yo, I, I heard you on TV saying you was looking for people. And he was like, yeah, what you do? I was like, well, I, I, I make music. He was like, you any good? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said, all right. He said, let me let me finish eating my food. You got a tape or something? I said, yeah, my truck is outside. We can listen out there. He said, let me finish my food. We come out there and we listen to it. So he was true to his word. He finished eating. I was sitting out in the car, you know, trying to get my shit all, you know, ready and everything. And he came out. And I played a couple joints and, you know, he was bopping and filling and then he kind of turned it down. I'm like, oh, fuck, you know, and then he's like, yo, man, he's like, uh, I like what you got. So I was like, you think you could work with it? He was like, I think I could work with you. So I was like, mm. all right. So he said, look, he said, I know people funny about giving out their demo tapes and this, that and the other. He said, but we're going to make a trade. He said, this is the number to my mom's crib. He said, I go, he was leaving to go on that triple threat tour that my man saw in 91. They was getting ready to start that. And mm -hmm. he, said, I be, he said, I leave on Monday. This was a Friday night. He was like, so make sure you get at me. He said, I'm going to give you this number and you let me live with your tape. And he said, and just hit me and, you know, we'll go from there. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he gave me the number. I gave him the tape. So I get home, it's about two, three in the morning. <laughs> you know I called the number, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so Mike's M Mike's mom answers the phone, you know, I'm like, and I speak to Mike, uh, he's not here. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally end up talking, I think like that Sunday night. And I remember this is when um the mama said, knock you out, LL record came out. And we was talking about it. And it's like, we was going through song for song. And it was like, we liked all of the same joints. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, you know, like, yo, that's my joint. No, that's my joint. No, no, what about this one? Nah, what da, da, da. So it was that. And then it was like, what he did, he, get, he took me through like, it was like, a, this was like my, you know, kind of audition in a sense. He would say like, yo, uh, what do you think about this record, such and such and such? If you had to remix it, what would you do? So I was mm. like, give me a you know, give me a day or two, and I, I come back at you. And I would send him some. This back when you had to actually mail stuff to people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's on the road, or he would call. I would play it over the phone or whatever. So that was the beginning of, of basically how we met and how our chemistry, you know, started working. And and from there, you know, after doing a couple joints you know, form or whatever. Um, he called me one day and I uh, was like, yo, you want to come to L.A.? And this was, he was finishing up another Bad Creations album. So um, I ended up going out there. Actually, it was myself and then um, Dr. Freeze and Howie T were there too because they were working on a song for another Bad Creation. And then, and it's like, we kind of wrapped up the album there, but that was the beginning of our working relationship. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. Sound like you got a story to tell, Rico. <laughs> yeah, it sound like you got a story to tell. Yeah, Produced well. by Michael Bivens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bro, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. But no, uh, for you, uh, Biv, uh, salute to you again for helping pave the way for a lot of artists that actually got their chance from doing what you just did with, with Rico giving them a chance to have that conversation. You know, a lot of the times we, we run into our idols, people that we idolize in this industry, and we want to talk to them, and we want we got so much to say, but so little time to say it, right? And you took right. a chance to listen to artists like Boys to Men, and then DJs like Rico, and then step in with another bad creation. And, hell, Jagged Edge is modeled after y'all for crying out loud. The first <laughs> thing on album came from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, right. it's like, you, uh, Russia, I you agree all, with that because I worked them. I worked them first. Jagged Edge records right from the beginning. From the awesome, <laughs> what you mean? Look, I'm gonna tell and, you right now. That was, the, that was the exact microcosm, and, and as well, I have to give you another one. Um, uh, B2K as well. 
<laughs> be too oh, hold on, look, don't stop there. New yeah. kids on the block in sync. Even the, even, even, the, even, even these K pop bands right now. Yeah. What's yeah, the boys hey, out hey. of Boston? Donnie Yo. Wahlberg and them. They <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg, hey. job, man. Come on now. Hey. They all, they all derivatives. On the they all derivatives. They all derivatives. Yeah. So, Any so you know, last question, and, and I'm going to stop. Hey, Mike, tell us about life before New Edition. For me? And, um, and music, or, not just basketball, and music. For me or for New Edition? I don't know which one you want, how you want me to answer it. For you. And, and music? You know what, man? Only only thing that I I was into in music is how you warm up in the layup line. I just always <laughs> wanted to hear. I just always wanted to hear flash hit when the ball was going around the two sides and the thing. I just felt like when you when you play ball and you got the right joint playing, you you mentally getting ready to bust someone's butt because you you lose, you dancing, you waiting for the rock. And just making the layup in the layup line still is the most prettiest shit you could ever do before a game. Because people in the stands, they be they be looking at that nigga. That's why some niggas both at boom. You be like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, come ready to play. Like, that's all I knew. I didn't follow nothing else but just that river, man. And, and you know, like that Planet Rock shit and stuff like that back in the early 80s when I was balling. I was just there, man. And, and I was into craft work. Oh, that was my shit. That was my shit. Like everything to me was, how can you make the ball move like the music? So that's all, man. I I ain't really have a big musical background, man. I was just a fan, and um, I just want to always just hear that good music before the start of the game. So being in the business helped me understand the music and the business. Cause I, I really was a little green when I got into it. To be Mike, honest you, with you, like what you speaking to, if that's you look sure. at any of the clips of AI before the game, that's exactly yeah. what he's talking. Hey. About, what you talking about when you look hey. at? Him. Look, look. I don't care what nobody say from your crew or from your past, bro. I don't care. They say you was too short to make it to the league. I think you would have did it. Hands down. No, you would have. No, you it, know bro. what? When Ralph, when Ralph said that, I was like, Wizzo, what type of shit was that, nigga? What are you talking about? I was going. Right, but I wasn't in his interview, but he was he was talking so much dope shit, I just let it slide. But I was like, Rizzo, that ain't the truth. Like I was a problem <laughs> at five two. What is you talking about? <laughs> so it was funny to me. But just the fact that I got Ralph for an hour shit, he could say whatever he want that day. I was just like, yo, Chuck. Nigga had a cigar and everything. I said, good, Rizzo, talk this <laughs> shit, man. You know, that's Ralph, nigga. Ralph don't do no wrong. Whatever, let's go. Right. <laughs> yes, so sir. Yes, good. sir. Yeah, but I didn't yes, like sir. that line. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get you, nigga. Don't say nothing like that. <laughs> He supposed, yeah, to make yeah. me, he supposed to make me hot, nigga. Hey, hit him, <laughs> hey, hit him with a Bruce Lee line when he do his Yeah, time. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to get him. I'm going to hit him with his shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, good man. one. Good one. Hey, again, salute to you, man. DJ Head yes, from the Midwest, man. Signing off. Thank you, baby. Hope, hope to see you do your own basketball game again soon. Face up against All Ice right. Cuba now. Say less. <laughs> Got you. Peace. What what wreck wreck you there, man, <laughs> dude? It's an honor to be on the phone with you, bro. Grew up playing the Thank music you, the whole time. Salute to you, man. Yes, oh. yes, wreck. Thank you, wreck on the call. What's up, wreck? <laughs> David, what's good, bro? Look, so check this out, man. So I'm in the process. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, man, and about to launch a new radio station here. And I need the fire, bro. I'm trying to see if we can do something to get you involved in the station somehow. And uh, I don't know, maybe doing something uh, on air or coming down like or something like that. How can we get you involved with the new radio station as we launch? When, when do you go? Well, the station goes in about another week and a half. Um, and it doesn't okay. have to be right at launch. I'm just trying to get something, you know, this year going and seeing how we can get you involved and really pushing it. You know, maybe we do, I don't know, um, Michael Bivens weekend or something like that on a radio station and do exclusive uh, meet and greet or or show at the at the studio or something like that. 
Yeah, let's let's put something together. That makes sense. And I think we build it around the music. I think that would make the most sense because, um, like I said, I need a runway. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, I, I, I understand in the launch you want to set a tone. So yep. let's just put something together so we really design it that it um makes sense. Rick, Somebody said you. they want say one said Rick, they want a a, a a rewind. I'll take a rewind too. Rick, I'm in there. There's nothing wrong with the three one four, baby. I got you. That's right, nothing. What I'll do is um we I got all your numbers. We we worked together for many years. Let's let's get together and then and lay it out what it is and then I'll and Mike, I'll get you the yo, plan. Yo, yo, tell me how you want to go. Yo, see, someone just hit the Grand Theft Auto. Who was that? I know that GTA. Mm-hmm. Who was that? That was that you can't let that go by. I saw that. Someone just commented and said a little something. They hit it with the GTA. Cut it. They got to it back in again. Yeah, I don't know. It was just yo, cool. And G mm-hmm. on San Andreas, they had a station, the, the new Jack Here we Swing go. Joint. Here we go. Here yeah, we I, go. I'm listening to y'all. I'm like, yo, that's really crazy because he kind of did something like that. And you had that shit rocking. Like it was a back yeah. a, a, a new Jack Swing station. It was playing all the crack on there. So that would be dope. Yo, let me t- did that that would be like real life, like some let fire. Me tell you, let me tell you the truth on that money. I was sitting home for a minute, no shows, right? Just real talk. And I'm going to share this with everybody. We wasn't doing no shows. And I'm like, damn, I need to make some paper. So this dude called me about, yo, can we do a voiceover? I'm like, a voiceover? Sure. What, what you talking about? He was like, yeah, I want you to do this game, this, that, and the third. I'm going to need you for like five hours. Money, that check was so nice. You know what I'm saying? I drove home in slow motion, man. I felt so good, man. I was like, you really just don't know how things, you know, pop up when you least expect it. And then I realized my brother-in-law, everyone plays the game. I wasn't really into the game like that. And, man, I got so much love walking through the streets with that San Andreas stuff, man. I didn't even know what the hell it was. I just went to go get the check, man. But thank you. That right there put me in the streets for real, for real. I was was with the gamers and didn't even know what the hell that was. But that new Jack station was um was real dope because I knew that was Teddy's thing. So yeah, man. Did you get the video of that? The video didn't they have a DVD or something like that? Was nah, it was it a I didn't have the DVD, nah, bro. Yeah, they just gave that to me. Yeah, they, they gave it as a gift. Yeah. So you know the crazy cartoon characters, right? I still got it in my crib in Boston. That's yeah, that's tough, my claim. Like, to fame, it's the heat on there too, yo. It wasn't like yeah. no cheesy shit or nothing like that. that yeah, shit was yeah, nigga. Listen, man, shit came through like a mug, money. I'll never forget that one, man. That's I tough, needed bro. that one. Yes, that's sir. I'm, I'm glad that happened for you, bro. Salute. I mean, you're a legend. I mean, going. I play your records any weekend, anytime. I could, I could throw a new edition on. They singing, they dancing. You feel me? So just salute to you. But that GTA, that that hit home for me because I was like probably 15 when that came out. So that really put me on to a lot of New Jack Swing for real. So, nah, yeah, salute. that's dope. Real. That's dope. So we good. We get some cuts out trying to get some to show the kind. Okay, someone just put some. You gonna give it to him again, man, and then we salute out of here and let y'all finish doing your thing? Cause shit, I'll take it again if anyone just came. How, 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 how y'all do it, D? Yeah, we could run yeah. the joint again. We, I wish we yeah, had the video, go. you know what I mean? But we we could definitely run the, let's run the joint again. Yo, Ray, you want to run time to wrap up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we out of here, yeah. Rico, oh, you want to say anything before they yeah, play Rico. it? Yeah, I just wanted to say, man, thank all of y'all for taking the time out, you know, for welcoming us, you know, and, uh, and, and, and being very receptive, you know, to the music and, like I said, you know, it, it, it comes from not just a producer, but from a DJ as well. And I want to put the power back in the hands of the DJ. And that's why we chose to come this route. So, you know, do now it's up for y'all to do y'all thing with it. So we appreciate everything that you've done so far. And let's just keep it going. And, and, and Ray, to add to what Rico was saying, I want Mike to understand that this call right here is like him when he played in the Boston shooter at the Boston Garden, like him <laughs> playing at Madison Square Garden, which he did not long ago. This is the Madison Square Garden call. This is the... This is the, the Boston Garden call right here. So, again, yeah, from yeah. here, the virility will happen. So, again, I thank, thank you guys. Salute to everybody. You see the people that's on the call yeah. uh, that, that are part of this call. You see you see the guards and the forwards and the shooters and everybody mm-hmm. that's on this call that's going to make yes. this go viral. So, again, thank you guys. 
And I think on behalf of Mike, what he said to me when he told me to get everybody together, he said, I want to go to the people. And that's what we just did. So thank you, guys. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. All right, man. Well, listen, Mike, it's an honor to have you on, man. No doubt. You know, like I said, we got DJs from all around the country, brother. I mean, you already know, you know, you you know, I, we've been saying, man, guerrilla marketing never go out of style. So we give you different markets to pop in every everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? So Very nice. much love to you. So tomorrow, nine o'clock okay. Eastern. Tomorrow, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. And then right after the documentary, then you wait for the premiere of the video. You know, oh. let it come. Let, let that happen. So you get it all. Get it all in one swoop. And then we get back and we take some comments and we get some good energy. There it is. Right. Well, in the spirit, in the we'll spirit of the title with a call, a title with a song. Act like you know. Okay. the ball, act like you know. We came to party, get on the floor. Girl, it's the weekend. Go ahead and move your body like you done done this before. Put your new dress on, get fly, say hello, girl, cause it's a party. And if you're trying to do your thing, oh baby, girl, get naughty. Ooh, don't hurt nobody, yeah. Gave you the keys to the game, all of fame, and you know the name. Rev run, see a man's been getting millions. Ain't none changed with the flow's the same. Wrist on frozen, flow so chosen. School so old, but the OG coasting. New York toasting, LA slosing. G's in the D, and the ball is in Boston. Hollis to Nostrand, parties I host them. Ball to a fall, so you know it's gon' coast them. Run, gon' post them. Rip them up, toast them. Out to the can, cause they rubbish and I roast them. Flow like the ocean, down in the coasting. Drying rappers out to the n- need lotion. I got the potion to keep you in ground. And dance to my beat, keep your feet in the motion. Motion. Ho, ho, ho. Bell be the ball, act like you know. We came to party, get on the floor. Girl, it's the weekend. Go ahead and move your body like you done done this before. Put your new dress on, get fly, say hello, girl, cause it's a party. And if you're trying to do your thing, oh baby, girl, get naughty. Have a rendezvous with Ron DeVoe Shotgun in the coupe while I drive you roll New addition to my rotation While I'm twisting, put your whole face in Whoa, pop bottles till there ain't nothing left She like, damn, is that BBD or BMF? Teach you how to play the game, not complain to the ref So, stay in your lane, I stay on my step I could've hit a D1 buzzer from the PJs Sat around and tore buses up the freeway Sold out tours, you know that boy With all that sauce How much that cost? Enough Rem spinning, I've been winning the money printing. Ben Tager's hot body, my honey's in it. I don't think I'm Rob Strick, I think I'm Mike Bibb. BBD's the sh- tight grip. Combination of run, fly drip. Lead singer of the click when the lights hit. Ho! Give the ball, act like you know We came to party, get on the floor Girl, it's the weekend, go ahead and move your body Like you done done this before Put your new dress on, get fly Say hello, girl, cause it's a party And if you're trying to do your thing Oh, baby, girl, get naughty Don't hurt nobody Yeah, don't hurt nobody So tough. Yeah. 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 Fire, my yeah. brother. More, more right, added y'all. to the legacy. More added to the legacy. All right. We hot.